my 40s male, wife, 30s female, cheated after 14 years, while drunk slash high, but wants to fix things. I'll try to make this as brief as possible, and I doubt anybody will read it, but maybe just writing it down will help me. My wife was my closest companion. The previous 14 years have been fantastic for the most part. I loved her more than anything else, and she adored me as well. She is a wonderful person with a fiery temper, but she was the yin to my yang. I have a very even temperament and try very hard to pause and think before I behave, while she is a little more careless and emotional. But it was a terrific combination. She was the other half of me that I was missing, and I was the other half of her. For many years, we had been a happy childless couple. She had always said that she did not want to have children. I had a daughter many years before we met, and she helped look after her when she came to visit. She was an excellent second mother for her. We experienced our ups and downs, just like any other marriage. I've made a number of reservations, but I can't obtain an appointment with anybody before this trip. My wife believes it is a work trip. I've meticulously covered my. I'm doing this because we have a once-a-week relationship and I need more. This is a situation I'm equally responsible for, and yes, I've scheduled counseling appointments for us both but more importantly because I just want to feel alive, a beautiful woman, get lit up, and escape my life for two weeks. Deeper than that, I have a strong sense that I am destroying myself here for some purpose. I'm doing this to divert myself from my fear about not being able to finish a project that would propel me to the next level of my profession. I'm conversing with this other lady and planning this in my thoughts among other things. This, I believe, is the true cause. I'm nervous, and this is a kind of escape. I'm going to love myself for doing this. This is not who I want to be. I seem to be able to compartmentalize it at times. I'm writing this at a moment and I can't. Can somebody please assist me? Please persuade me not to do this. I know I'm a jerk for allowing things to go this far. I know I'll be a larger piece of it if I go through with it. It's an extraordinarily powerful urge. Someone someone taught me out of this. My wife is a lovely and kind person, and I really don't want to do this, but I must. I'm a successful executive in my late 30s. And sure, this does sound quite immature. I had a really painful upbringing, and this certainly seems like it's coming from that wound. Right now, I'm trying to imagine how I'll feel after a month. In a month, I'll be one of two types of men. That is really helpful. But the temptation to follow through sets in, particularly late at night. Any suggestions, particularly from those beyond the age of 30, would be much appreciated. Update. Unfortunately, I'm extremely intelligent. Nothing could possibly get back to my wife. Actually, nothing is impossible. But it's exceedingly improbable. I would never have been caught the first time. I'd managed to pull it off. But, in the end, what undid me was the realization that I do have a conscience and confessed. After all of my efforts, I'm startled to find myself here again. But I suppose the fact that I'm reaching out before following through, that I don't really want to do this, that I recognize it as a compulsion, and so on, is quite different from the prior time. I've been tested, and I demanded that my planned partner get tested as well. She's a nice kid from a good family, and so on. Her OB has performed all of the necessary tests, and she is clear. So, as you can see, I've already covered all of my bases on that front. And what a diversion it has been, doing all of that and devoting all of my efforts to it rather than dealing with my difficulties. What you have stated is entirely correct. I should turn to my wife, because I'm not exploring fetishes with her. Our life has become stale, she'd be interested. The urge here isn't the result of any flaws in our relationship other than those I'm bringing to it. I'm attempting to get away from my life in general here, you are correct. I should flirt with my wife more. If I can make the correct decision here, and I feel like I'm going to make the right option the more I think about it, I cut myself off from my largest source of quick gratification escape. Taking my relationship with my wife to the next level will be difficult, but it will be worthwhile and I believe that once this moral decision is made, I will devote all of my resources, which are presently focused on this battle, to the relationship. That is my real wish. Thank you for the motivation to do the right thing. I'm finding each of them to be quite beneficial. Years ago, she had some troubles with becoming too close to a co-worker. She originally lied about the difficulty, but we finally worked through it, and I believed we were stronger than ever. We spent a lot of time together in the town. We drank a bit more than we should have for our health, but neither of us had a drinking problem. We both worked in hospitality, so it's something that comes with the territory. Then she decided against having a child. 
Maybe it was the fact that she hit 30 and baby fever, set in, or maybe it was watching her sisters, so happy with their children that swayed her opinion. It truly doesn't matter. But one night, we had the chat, and I told her that I would love to create a family with her. However, the time was inconvenient. The short explanation is that both of our employment were potentially about to terminate, and we had no idea what would happen in the near future. We gradually got back on our feet after a horrible year, in which we lost everything and had to start again. During the difficult times, she began to drink more and more. She comes from a family of alcoholics. Things went quite terrible with her conduct for a spell due to drinking and despair from having to start again. But as I previously said, we were able to pull ourselves out of it, get back on our feet, and begin putting our lives back together. Her drinking, on the other hand, remained an issue. She'd get drunk and start calling me names. She became inebriated at work and was fired for drinking on the job. She was still my wife, and I loved her, so I attempted to support and assist her. She would stop drinking severely for a time, then return to it a few months later. When she was sober, she was always apologetic, and most of the time she was still fine, but once a month or so she would get intoxicated and tell me she hates me and is leaving me for a genuine guy who would have a family with her. I attempted to convince her that we couldn't have a family while she was drinking and behaved like this. Things began to deteriorate a few months ago. She began drinking on a daily basis, including concealing alcohol and lying to me about her drinking. She also began using cocaine on an almost regular basis. I don't criticize drug usage. We'd done it together a few times before, but not frequently. She was deceiving me about her drug use. I addressed her numerous times, reminding her that she had told me she wanted to establish a family, but was not behaving in a manner that allowed that to happen. Then something occurred. She was with a person I believed was a buddy, but it turned out he wasn't. She was inebriated, and they were smoking coke together. He and I had previously discussed our issues, and he utilized that knowledge to tell her what she wanted to hear. He tricked her into getting laid. Yes, she did it again, and it was her choice. She was not our asterisk 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 D. But he did prey on an inebriated woman, gave her drugs, and then booted her out of the home after he was laid. That night, I had to take her up. She told me about how they went to his home to buy more drugs and he began throwing up, and she just wanted to get out of there. I believe I could have forgiven her on the spot if she had come to me soon after that occurred and confessed and was prepared to change. Get her assistance and try to move on. That, however, did not occur. I discovered the text texts they exchanged approximately a week later. When I challenged her, she informed me what had transpired, and she agreed to leave and return to her parents' place. That is where she is right now. When I saw the texts, I had no idea she was as messed up as she was that night. I also had no idea how much he had exploited her in order to be laid. I've subsequently learned that he's done this before and that it's his go-to method for getting laid. He is a nasty guy who waits and preys on weak females. That is disgusting. She is really sorry. She recognizes that what she did was wrong, and she confesses that what transpired that night was her fault, even though he spoke what he needed to say. She wants to attempt to solve this problem and preserve our marriage. She has already stopped drinking and has said that she would never drink again. She claims she was upset that we didn't have a family, but she knows it was because of her. She has said that this was the rock bottom she needed to reach in order to repair herself and return to the person she once was. I'm a loss on what to do next. She was my closest companion. She was my life's love. I know that none of this would have occurred if it hadn't been for the drugs and booze but I'm not sure I'll ever be able to trust her again. Even if I can ultimately trust her again, our main issue was establishing a family, and I don't believe I can trust her enough in the time we have left to do so. Her biological clock is counting down the days till she dies. Nothing would make me happier than to reclaim what we had before our lives were shattered, yet nothing can turn back the clock. Nothing can reverse what has occurred. I realize that no one is flawless, even myself. But am I simply causing myself more pain in the future? What do I dot it? Yes, for the sake of privacy, I was vague on several aspects, including age. No, I was not a hunter. We were co-workers as well as friends. She was 20 years old, and I was 27. Yes, he was a few years younger than I was, but we were friends who had just gone through a nasty breakup. We began speaking and connecting, and things progressed from there. Also, sure, it took us longer than a year to get back on our feet. We've been talking about having a kid for some years now. Story 2. 
divorced my ex-wife when I caught her cheating, and she remarried a year later. So I have two kids, and because of how I found her cheating, I was given 50-50 custody. I like visiting and spending time with my children. They are the most enjoyable aspect of my existence. My ex-wife cheated on me because she knew I was a musician. I followed through on every ambition she had. We purchased a home before I had enough money for a down payment because she wanted it. She stated to me that my dreams were okay and go for them. However, as time passed and we had two children, she began to behave strangely about our marriage approximately three years in. My children are now addressing another guy as father a year later. It kills me on the inside every time it occurs. My ex-wife was having a full-fledged affair, if another guy without any condoms or protection, then returning home and behaving as if nothing had occurred. She's horrible to the core. Can you look after the kids tonight? I'm going on a ladies' night out. I didn't even try to rectify it, and that's been weighing heavily on me recently. A part of me thought, great, now I can get out of this mess and live the life I want, but I still have to answer to her stupidity. And I despise the fact that I still adore her. Don't get me wrong. I don't want her back, nor am I in love with her. But I was with her from the age of 15 to 32, and we were married for six years. We were a family of two. She had just stopped respecting me. I quit taking her and stood up for myself, and she cheated on me in response. She our family and tossed them out the window. Worse, what's the point? It was a shrug when she discovered it. Well, now that you know, I'll go back to demeaning you and condemning everything you do. Why hadn't I been good enough? I was truthful, I paid the bills, and I always had the impression that she didn't give about me. She just wanted to utilize me till she found a new guy to monkey branch to, which hurts my children tell me that she and their new father never quarrel and that everything is fine. Every day, it eats me alive on the inside, and I can't help but grin, and I have to behave properly, and I can't show my children how heartbroken I am on a daily basis, I can't tell her what I think, and her new spouse has no clue what occurred in our marriage. I suppose this is the ache I'll have to bear for the rest of my life, until old age. I don't think this will ever be without some kind of pain. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to trust another lady. I'm not sure whether I even want to. Thanks.